once again i want to speak to you who is a migrant worker who is a migrant worker a migrant worker is a person who migrates from one country to another with a view of being employed. A migrant worker is a person that moves from one country to another with a view of being employed. So, if you are going to work and you're going to another country, you are called a migrant worker. And a migrant worker is a person that migrates from their country to another country with a view of being employed. So, now you are in the airport or you are parking to go to the airport to travel outside the country. What are the things that you need? What do you need to travel as a migrant worker to another country? You need three bags, which we call three bags in the... Uh, for putting up for the travel. And the three bags, one include the... Mm -hmm, we have the check-in luggage. Mm -hmm, we have the pass. And we have the and luggage. Three luggages that you will need to go as a traveler to go outside the country, you need three bags. The first bag is the pass. The pass will put all the documentations. And we say the documents are visa, passport, a document, a document like medical med, 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 document, good contract, contact, um, air ticket, maybe your phone, um, any other document that you will need, you put them in the pass. So the first bag as you're traveling outside the country is your bag which you may end up hanging it around your waist just a small bag where you will put your documents even your money the second bag is the ant luggage and luggage is a small bag that you will put some few things that you may end up needing as an emergency like one cloth to change inside the plane or a pair of uh, shoes mm, maybe the smaller packet of colgate uh-huh maybe a piece one piece one one piece of a, a, a toothbrush to clean your teeth or uh, maybe a little lotion like 100 uh, ml milligrams um uh, for you mg milligrams to for you to use in the inside the plane so and the third luggage is called the check-in luggage where you put your few things you're not packaging to travel forever you're just putting either several clothes maybe three pairs of of, of, of shoes maybe a 250 uh, milligram uh, lotion maybe a spray hairspray you'll put your few things inside there so the three types of bags that we have we are going to put what the first pass the first bag is a pass where you're putting your document documents all the documents that you're traveling with nita certificate good contract good contract uh, mm -hmm. you're good, going to put your visa and your passport in there you will put your medical certificate there you will put your uh, vaccination documents in there for when you get to the airport for them to be verified by the office of immigration so those three bags you need them the second bag we have said is a uh, called the hand luggage that is just a bag where you put few things that you may need in the airport and you can access them and um, because they will be in the cabin in the cabin up there uh -huh. and the third one is the check-in luggage where you put few things like three pieces of clothes or four clothes or five pieces and you'll have to check them with the weight according to the airline as per the airline requirements so um katika kuweka vitu vyako vya kusafiria tuna mifuko mitatu ambayo utaweka vitu zako za kusafiria tukafeka tukasema mfuko wa kwanza ni mfuko mdogo ambao unaitwa pass utaweka vibali vyako hapo ile ile document tumeziita vibali ambavyo ni za kusafiria mfuko wa pili unaitwa ant luggage ambao utaweka nguo moja ama eh, eh, mswaki wa meno ama lotion dogo ya kujipaka mafuta kidogo na utaweka vitu vichache kama nguo moja ama pia moja ya viatu. Kutoka hapo tuna mfuko wa tatu ambao tunauita check-in luggage ambao utaweka vitu vyako vingi, unaweza ukaweka nguo pia tano uh, za dresses, ukaweka viatu pia kama tatu, ukaweka mafuta kama eh, yale mafuta ya kiasi ya milimita uh, ya eh, milligram kama 250 na vitu ambavyo sio vikubwa sana maana katika uwanja wa ndege kuna vitu ambavyo havipiti kuna vipimo havitaweza kupita so unabeba vitu ambavyo vinaweza kupita mahali pale kama ni maji itabidi unywe kabla uingie katika upande ule mwingine wa kuingia ndani ya ndege 
maana ndani ya ndege kuna vyakula ambavyo utaweza kupewa na zimelipiwa katika ile yale malipo ya air ticket ambao uko nayo ya economy class if you're traveling for work as a migrant worker so so those are the things that i i feel like talking about right now remember when you're traveling for the first time there are things that you will feel as you're traveling for the first time there are things that you will feel that we call them challenges in the airplane there are things that we call them challenges as a traveler one challenge is that you will be worried worried i've never been traveling oh what what kind of a volume of before that take of the the volume of sound that it it is it it it, it releases before settling up there another thing is air sickness air sickness is like you, when you you come out of the plane you will be feeling like because you've been in a plane and you've never been in a plane the other thing is jet lag jet lag is that feeling hmm? like you are still in the plane yeah so you'll be like that we call jet lag you feel like still you're traveling and then you've already traveled headache and tiredness these are challenges that you may meet while in the plane so ensure you're not packing food to carry because foods are not allowed in the plane only a few things that we have spoken of dogs are not al allowed in the plane trees are not allowed in the plane needles ensure that your luggage is within the weight limit as per the uh, airline rules you should arrive at the airport three hours before traveling time if you're traveling you should be at the airport three hours before traveling remember there are those challenges that we have spoken of worry air sickness jet lag headaches tiredness there are con men you should not somebody should not come to you while you are in the airplane and say check for me this luggage don't touch somebody's bag it may be carrying a cocaine and you may be arrested so don't touch somebody's bag delays a, a plane may be coming from another country and before it lands for you to board to travel it is delayed so there may be a delay of three to four hours or some more time so there will be loss of luggage where you, where you should not be worried because you will end up being sorted by the airline so those are things that um, i want you to, to know before you're traveling to another country so put an effort to understand these things so that you are not amshamba um, you're not a a, a, a person that does not understand things when you are in the airport. Thank you.